All the manipulation of the media to, because somebody is feeding them this stuff and creating a, a low turnout issue, I think it's a non-issue. I'm not, I'm not, I have no opinion on that. We've observed people coming in and voting, uh, as I said, uh, pretty much uh, freely uh, without any interruptions, without any influence uh, and so forth, as, as far as, as I said, that we can observe. Uh, so it's, uh, for us, it's been fair, fair and free and uh, so far transparent and uh, we haven't seen any uh, issues with uh, uh, violence or any uh, any conflict of uh, any form fit fit new improved fit, fit biscuit fit 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 thakle hit thank you, thank you so much shall we start yes. are, are we ready yes. all right thank you thank you so much uh, for having us this morning which uh, it's been a very interesting uh, visit to this uh, booth. Uh, it's a, uh, one that has a number of uh, stations uh, with a number of people turning out. We've observed uh, the various uh, voters uh, voting uh, and it's been so far a free uh, election. Uh, we haven't observed anything that uh, obstructs uh, the people from voting. It's, uh, uh, for us as observers, international observers, uh, I should introduce myself. My name is Shoket Maslamani from Australia. Uh, this is uh, Jimmy, a former congressman from uh, the US, and Andre uh, from uh, Norway. We are international observers here on the Electoral Monitoring Forum. And uh, we've been here for the last uh, few days, but certainly today is uh, a very interesting day, day for us to, to observe the elections uh, in the, uh, Bangladesh. Uh, so this is our third uh, polling station uh, and we've observed people coming in and voting, uh, as I said, uh, pretty much uh, freely uh, without any interruptions, without any influence uh, and so forth, as, as far as, as I said, that we can observe. Uh, so it's, uh, for us it's been fair, fair and free and uh, so far transparent and uh, we haven't seen any uh, issues with uh, uh, violence or any uh, any conflict of uh, any form. So it's been uh, extremely good for us to uh, witness uh, the election day here in Bangladesh. I'll ask uh, my colleagues uh, yes. to say a few words. Yes, um, uh, Jimmy, uh, Jimmy, for the congressman uh, from the US, will also uh, say a few words and then we'll Sir, pass uh, over. What you are counting, the number of voting or the process of voting? Yes, uh, the question was uh, counting the number of votes or person voting. Or I, th I think that uh, being here to observe the election is an honor, and I think uh, being in Bangladesh, which I have been before, bringing medical equipment to the Rohingya and doing other things, uh, I think Bangladesh is a terrific country, and a country on the go, and, and you are journalists, and today's world, journalists are not doing their job. They're not reporting the truth. And I know that in your hearts that you will seek the truth. And I think this this is all, to me, has been so confusing the way they've focused on 
the low turnout or something as if that means something. Well, first of all, I've been all over the world, and most countries vote much longer period of time than Bangladesh. So you have to put it the eight to four in the context. You're the shortest voting time, and so naturally the numbers will be less, and the, and it may even be a little lower. But it's the right of people in a democracy to vote, and you don't have to vote, and a lot of people don't for various reasons. There's so much corruption in all countries. So I'm just asking you to open your hearts and do what your conscience tells you, and not what the media is, the way they twist things and try and create issues that aren't there. And I think, from my perspective, it's been an honor to be here, and it's been a free and fair election so far. Uh, and and I thank you for for being here and reporting the news. Thank so, you. Sir, sir, as you as you introduce yourself as international observer, sir, so uh, if, if the voter turnout, I mean, what is the standard uh, mark, the demarcation of voter Percentage turnout? Percentage of vote. Uh, to, uh, to yeah, I don't I don't think that means anything. If it's one percent, that's who turned out, and they have a right to vote or not to vote. And I think that the media. And by the way, I know that the media has been receiving hundreds and millions of dollars to, for <laughs> propagandize. All over the world, we have, if you followed in Ukraine, Russia, if you followed Gaza, and, and all the manipulation of the media to, because somebody is feeding them this stuff and creating a, a low turnout issue, I think, is a non-issue. I'm not... I'm not, I have no opinion on that. So what do you say about the election environment here in Bangladesh? Election, election environment. Election environment, the process of voting environment. Voting environment. Voting environment and well, it, here we are. As we said earlier, it's been pretty much free, and uh, a lot of the members or the voters have been uh, free in terms of uh, entering the booths without any interruptions, without any obstructions. So uh, for us as observers, that's what we've observed, and, um, and we're happy that, uh, that voters are free uh, to vote without any interruptions and influence. Thank you, Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.